In this video, I'm going to take a closer look at some specific examples of polyesters. So the first example we'll look at is something called terylene, and that's made from these two monomers, benzene 1,4 dicarboxylic acid. So you can see we've got a carboxylic acid group on the benzene ring of positions 1 and 4, hence the name. And we're going to react that with a diol called ethane 1,2-diol. So you can see the two carbons and the two hydroxyl groups on carbons 1 and 2. So just apply the same sort of rule of thumb, the same logic as before. So we're going to take out the OH group. From the carboxylic acid so we need to do that with both of these this is what my a-level chemistry teacher used to call lasso chemistry and it really works it really helps and we're going to take out the hydrogen from the hydroxyl groups and you can see if we just sort of dot a line that there's your water molecule produced there and of course we've got the, the water molecule at either end there being formed so we'll join those together now and see what we create. So there it is, there's the repeat unit. Remember to, to put the end bonds in to show that this is a continuous process. Clearly shown the ester group there. Remember this is a polyester. And don't forget the water molecule. And you can see I've added some ends now in green and that has turned this into an equation. So if we wanted to make this polyester, terylene, we'd need n moles of the dicarboxylic acid, n just means a large number, n moles of the diol, and we'd create n moles of the repeat unit. We'd get 2n minus 1 moles of water, because obviously there's going to be, where you cut the polymer chain, you're not going to get that water molecule there, because obviously it's... It, it's continuing okay that sometimes people struggle to get their head around that so i've taken this from an actual ocr pass paper so people have been messaging me to say could i please in include past paper questions in the videos so here's an attempt at that i hope this is the kind of thing that you want so we've got um, a polymer called pen and that stands for polyethylene naphthalate and you in the exam you were given the repeat unit so all I've done is drawn up exactly what was on the exam paper so the repeat unit of pen is shown and the question basically said draw the structures of the monomers used to make pen so if you have a look at that pause the video and then play and I'll show you the answers so in terms of how you would process this question you can see I've sort of drawn a squiggly line through the ester bond there and that's because that's where this these two monomers will have joined together so we're going to sort of effectively pull them apart and remember polyesters made from diols and dicarboxylic acids so we need to turn this part here with the single bonded O into a diol and this with the C double bond O would have originally been a dicarboxylic acid and there's the answer and the only thing I would say is to be careful of with this one is to make sure that your carboxylic acid groups are in the right place so if you look at where they are on the repeat unit this one here needs to be down there whereas this one here needs to be up here I'll go on then we'll do one more I found this one here again from an OCR paper so this one gave you the structure of an acid that you've probably never seen before called mandelic acid. So there's its structural formula, C6H5, CHOH, COOH, and you have to draw two repeat units of the polymer formed when mandelic acid polymerizes. So again, pause the video, have a go, and then play on. We'll start with drawing up two separate molecules side by side of mandelic acid. I've drawn the displayed formula so we can see very, very clearly what's going to happen. So we'll need to take the OH group from the carboxylic acid group and the hydrogen from the 
alcohol group so that's going to give us our water molecule remember this is condensation polymerization so because I've taken the OH of this one I need to take the OH of that one and because it's the H of the hydroxyl it's the H of the hydroxyl there so now we just need to turn that into the repeat unit and remember we need two of them and so there's the answer and repeat unit number one would be here to there and repeat unit number two you can see it picks up again with this single bonded O so there's repeat unit two starting there